Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3. Hey everyone, and welcome to Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3. I'm going to be playing this game. It has Shirami Lei as the voice of Gluria, who's also the voice of Azuna from a certain anime. And that anime is called Sword Art Online. One of the best anime I've ever seen, and a lot of people may or may not agree with me. Unless they already saw it, then yeah, it would make sense. Now, I'm going to be playing this game. It's very long. Longer than Rebirth 1, longer than Rebirth 2. We're gonna be playing it. I'm gonna be playing it. You're gonna watch. And let's get into this. I'm not gonna view the the CGI um, events here, which means uh, the ones that are cin cinematic. I can't view them because they're gonna crash the game. Like I no, it's stupid. Like this one coming up, I can't show it. Game industry. Yeah, shut up. Oh look, it's Julia's face. I mean, Neptune's face. <sighs> it's gonna be such a great time for me to voice her. Pluty, I mean. It's gonna be very great. I love it already. I'm excited to see it. I wanna see it. Show me it. I don't even know what's going on, but... Let's get into it. It is high time you receive your comeuppance, Purple Heart. No, Neptune. How careless of me, to think the three of you would join forces. Oh, come on! It only makes sense at this point to lower the head count one at a time like this. It'd be a pain if you end up being the last one standing. So we're gonna beat you down first! Oh, boy. If only Nepgear were here, I shouldn't have abandoned her. This isn't a game, a bit right? late for regrets now. Get ready to die! Ah, Please great. rest assured, Neptune. We won't torture you. Expect a swift and clean death. And again. Leave the finishing blow for me. Oh, God. I'll never lose. Even against the three of you, I will be victorious. No. I thought this game did not have deaths. I thought the characters only faded. They never said anything about them actually dying. Are you kidding me? I've been. I've been. I won't go easy on you at all. I have been had. Whoa. Whoa. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Look at the action. Look at all that. Cross combo. Cross combo. Oh, oh God. It's laggy. Laggy. It's cutting the audio. No. That was loud. Mm, what to do? Ugh. This is the true strength of last station city. You Son of a. I am ready. You know how? You know how? It's my turn. There's no way I can beat them. So I'm let them ready kill me any off. time. Kill them up to them. Whatever. I'm just trying to say. Do you know what yeah. happened? Um, uh, you know something? Yeah. I have to be honest here. I forgot. Like I was so close to remembering, then I started yeah. inside. I will not oh, let yeah. you have it your I remember way. now. I will have you you know how old yeah. you know how much gigabytes there are in this game right now? Yeah. Twelve! Twelve! Reaver yeah. 2 had eight! But this one has twelve! Because yeah. of the extra chapters! Finally! When you complete the game! I'll finish this in one go! I'm gonna be saving in several save states so I can show you what I mean. Because there are what multiple endings that happen. Prepared? I will not let you have it your way! I'll finish I can't this believe, in I can't one believe go. they're guarding themselves! They actually want me to murder them? Alright! Ready whenever. I don't I'm have any EXE skills. Why do they have them? Have it your way. It's my turn. Why are they guarding? Finally. You prepared? Why are they guarding? I will not let you have it your way. I will have you. There perished. we go. But I'm Whoa. A character. Is that a parka? Her new, her new N clothes. No, this cannot be. Is this? 
Where I finally die? Neptune's new clothes it look cool. Can't be. <sighs> no! I lost you guys! <laughs> <laughs> One down, two to go. Victory is all but mine. Oh boy. It's real. With Neptune out of the game, none of you stand a chance against me. <laughs> Come on. It sucks when you all gang up on me just because I'm awesome. You're all cheater belly eaters. It's a D-pad box. Eh, look at there. Zoom in on that box. What a rude accusation to make. We all inadvertently have the same goal in mind. Times like this should give you a glimpse into who you are as a person and how you act in your daily life. Yeah. Aw, I really wanted to play too. I'm as sorry as a cat, Nep Jr. It's a four-player game, so... You received your comeuppance for barging in when it was your sister's turn. Just a second. I'll win this round real quick. Okay, one more game. If I let you all win every time, it'll make Planetune's CPU look like a loser. Which it already is. Oh! Round two. Fight! What's happening? Why is it just... Why is it just Neptune? Why is it stuck on her? Huh? The battle is not initiating. What is this buggy screen? I don't know. But her... But her clothes are perfect. And for some reason, the audio seems to be faded. See, that shouldn't be like that. Only Purple Heart is showing up. None of ours are even loading. Neptune, did you break the game? I did nothing of the sort. I selected my titular character and pushed the start button like always. Titular, you say. All right. Then it's a freeze bug, no? I had this game myself, but I've never had this happen to me. Wonder and why. And the place it loaded your character into. It looks like a dungeon, doesn't it? Now that you mention it, it does. Why would there be data for a dungeon in a fighting game? Perhaps the developers reused an old engine and the assets were left in. Or an update file was installed? That's basically Rebirth. Are you kidding me? They actually knew about this? Neptune, can you control your character at all? I've been mashing all the buttons the whole time you've been talking, but uh, she's stuck. You mean you're stuck. You're stuck on what to do in the game. That you're stuck and she's stuck. Oh! But still, this... The original Hyperdimension Neptunia victory... This is the game, by the way. Um, it had these exact models for the PS3 one. Not the original two, but the third game had these exact models. I see. As a gamer, I would love to explore this restricted area. But at this rate... Oh, if that's all it is, then I have the perfect gizmo to help! What is it, a nebulous grift or something? Hmm... Ta-da! My special head-mounted super full-dive immersive controller! I call it the nebulous grift. Temp. SERIOUSLY?! <laughs> it's exactly it! Oh my god! This game can predict what I think! Unbelievable! I did not even know that they would actually pull that off. What do you think, editor? Are they sidekick? Do they know that I'm actually playing the game or not? God, I called it the exact same name! Are you kidding me? Temp, God, I cannot get over this. I'm probably gonna be wasting 20 minutes over this. A controller you wear on your head? It looks like any other VR headset. What's different about this one? If you don't know about the Nebulous Rift, it's a parody of the Oculus Rift. A major VR headset that's still walking to the stock tables at this point. They had come up with a vibe. Could this be the device that we have all dreamed of? Does it allow you to dive into a game by wearing it? Many YouTubers played it. PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jackson the Guy, KSI, Pyrocynical. Leafy is here. 
All of these YouTubers have played the game. Yami Mash. Captain Sparkles. I would like to see a list of how many people I've mentioned. Um, Xbox Addictions, Master of Luck. Yes. All right. A certain game industry journalist recommended a young adult novel about online game worlds to me. I had to try. And since the controller doesn't have its own software, I made a universal dongle to let it work with any device. The dongle. The dongle. Um, long story short, we can use it to intervene in the game, whether it's bugged or frozen or anything, really. Kind of like the Nerve Gear for Sword Art Online. Neptune, since when has your sister been this much of a machine-loving and tinkerer character? We already know. Neptunior's machine fetish was innocent enough that it didn't get in the way of her cuteness. How'd it end up this way? Let's look back, uh, let's look back a game and look back to Rebirth 2. Wait! Is it because of the new route they added into Rebirth 2 where she and Uni worked on a machine together? God, why does it keep, why does it keep predicting my words? Shut up! Unbelievable! Come on! It's it. Everything, every, every little thing I say, they seem to pick up on that. What? What is this editor? What is this sorcery? Is this entire subplot based on that one route where her tinkering really took off? Ask <sighs> me and leave my sister out of this. That must be the last station route. Not ending. here. May I please use that device to dive into this game? Um, well... I just finished development on it this morning. It's untested, so I don't think anyone can use it. I see. Besides. In that case... <clears throat> oh, no! Whoa! Lights out! What's happening? Oh, no! What the goodness, Bird! I just said it hadn't been tested yet! What are you doing? What are you as doing? The heart is shown on screen. I believe Neptune standing as the protagonist will keep her safe. Oh the boy. logic of a gamer. Don't blame me if something happens. Let me see. Is this the headset start button? And push. The Nep the Nep logo. Right there. Unbelievable. It predicted everything I said at that point. situational comedy situation have you situated me in, Vert? That doesn't fit. That but, doesn't... uh, this could be a cool thing to experience. <laughs> so this is what it's like to be inside a game, huh? If this was how Purple Heart sounded, it would have been so... weird and better at the same time. Dive success! Oh, thank goodness. Still, what a ridiculous scenario. She looks like her HDD form, but her personality and voice is Neptune. I noticed that. Oh, you're right! Wow! Is this my body after transforming? <laughs> I never noticed. You could always just look down. Just look down! Yippee skippy! This is totally a new experience for me! Whee! This is too weird. Neptune, can you just act like your HDD self for me? I don't know if I can or not, but I'll give it a try, try, passerby! <laughs> I like her more now. How does this sound? Wow. I figured there was nothing to lose by asking, but I never thought you'd manage to pull it off. Okay, this feels more natural. Neptune, can you move around? As you can see, my movement is not restricted in the slightest. Neptunior, I am impressed. This feels real. Oh, golly! My big sister praised me! <laughs> Yay! However... Remaining in this form and using this personality is quite tiresome. Well, just like real life. Oh, snappy snap. It's way more comfy to laze about in this bod. Oh, snappity snap. Did she really say that? What? You changed back somehow. Of course she did. This fighting game has an HDD transformation system as one of its mechanics. Just like the actual game. Anything is possible in games. Yep. Well, now that I'm back to my usual carefree self, let's start this investigation free of cares. Now, I have to say... Oh, teach me a scene. <laughs> nice, little, nice little icon of hers. I know this. I know this. 
I know this. I know all of it. I'm the master of disguise. Or not. Call me needy. But I actually enjoyed the game already. Now, here's the problem with the... the here's the issue. Oh, no, there's no issue. I'm just saying. It's gonna take me a while to get used to this menu. But I'll get over it. I'm just gonna mention to you all now. This right here... There should have been a blurred, uh, a blurred version of the background right now, but I guess the 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 result of my uh, of my refreshing of the laptop caused this, so it removed some falls or added something different. But whatever, it makes this game more weird than it already was. I mean, it always was weird. Now I'm saying that there's gonna be something called Stella's Dungeon. And you know how long those dungeons were in the first, in the second game? Well, it's not gonna be like that in this one. There's gonna be a, a range between 12 minutes to 1 to 12 minutes. Alright? Just to keep it simple, I'm saying this because I really mean it. There won't be because Stella wasn't worth it in the in Reaver 2, but she will be worth it when you wanna get actual items in this game. Items that you can't really get until you get some different dungeons. Found an item. Now let's get this. Just as planned. Whoa, nice music. I just noticed the music when I was just playing. Hey. Is it the sounds sounds like I've heard it before, but no. Hey. Oh yeah, she can. She has different voices. One kajillion times infinity years too early for you to defeat me. <laughs> King a nip, take a king a nip, king a nip, jump! Alright, so a rebirth one sound effect here. Jump! Just as planned. We're all in it for the game. This is the this is one of the best RPG games I've ever played. Oh my god! Oh my god! Final Fantasy! Six doesn't have anything on it. Yeah. Hey, easy peasy. I love the Mega Drive. Uh, hey, Win. here you go. Oh yeah, you can uh, you can jump up and uh, there are these there are these oh these. What are they? Can I not? I can't see them. But it's it has to. I see something. This question mark, can I jump? <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me, Mario? <laughs> Seriously? They, they added Mario. They got inspiration from Mario. Mario. That's unbelievable. Now I get to jump three times. Alright. Oh, there's a save place. I hope to get there soon, anyway. Seriously, you guys? What's up with this place? It's a bugged area, isn't it? Either that, or it's a different game's dungeon assets mixed in. Well, that's pretty much what Reaver 2 did with Louise, uh, Snowfield in Reaper 1. Yeah, they changed it. Do you think? Something's buggering me, though. If only that was a word. Be careful, Neptune! Something's coming your way! My way? But there can't be anything here other than my fine self. <laughs> ah, it's a succulent beast! Ooh, what is this thing? Was this ever in one of our games? Yes! No. No such monster exists in the Neptunia franchise. Yes, it does! In your regular existence, either it's a bug or some kind of virus in the game's code. A virus? I suppose it's possible. Maybe the area Neptune's exploring was made by that same virus, then. It is a tad hasty to jump to that conclusion. But... The <laughs> oh, frick, 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 frick! <laughs> it is a tad hasty to jump to that conclusion. But... The enemy is intent on fighting, so shall it be. <laughs> Hang on! We don't even know what this thing is! Can I even beat it? Yep. Here in a game, it'll be fine. Why are you acting so casual and vague now of all times? If 
I lose, I might seriously die. Die in the game, die in real life. That kind of horror premise exists. That's how Sword, that's how Sword Art Online was made. Come on, Akihiko Kayaba would have made this game. If that's the case, come on, Neptune. Oh, oh! Maybe if you fight it, I can extract some really neato combat data from the game's code. Perfect. It's so much fourth wall breaking. It's so clever, too. Are you dabbing gals even listening? Are you lippy ladies ignoring me? Can't you flippin' females hear me? <laughs> Okie dokie. I've connected my end gear to the headset. I should be able to extract the enemy's data now. Uh. You heard the plan, Neptune. Get fighting. Ah, fine. I'm gonna use my attack spamming suicide strategy. Are you kidding me? That's what I do. Is that what every Neptunia fan out there does too? Wow, Top Nep. That's a meme on the internet. It's called Top Nep. A typical tep Neptunia fan would say something like that. Oh my god, I... I know what to do. Enjoy playtime and lifetime. Lifetime achievement awards. Hey! It's all over. These aren't the monsters from the fun. Neptunia franchise, but Smith says I call bullcrap because I just battle these things. I never unlocked the dungeon in this Oh, that was easier than eating. <laughs> it's worth it to try stuff out. Did you get your data, Neptunia? Yes! It went perfect thanks to you! Hmm. So this is the data structure they used? What the goodness? Oh yeah. They... they this was in the Rebirth 1. What is the matter, Nepgear? Is the data corrupt? The music. No, no. The data is perfectly fine. And I've analyzed it without issue. But... Um... Well, this is... I meant the music that you're listening to now. And... Are they talking about a hacker? <laughs> Annoying! Just spit it out already! Annoying! Your opponent is a sentient virus. Are you kidding me? Huh? huh? When you say virus, you speak of the computer kind and not an illness, yes? Right. I don't know why it exists, but I'm positive it's behind the reason why our game got messed up. Oh, no! The virus seems to have built this dungeon area via a network connection. How? I read something similar to this in a book years ago. Crazy cakes! You're telling me that it's the virus's fault that my sweet battling CPU's game got all buggy? Expect no forgiveness. Oh, she's pissed. Neptune seems legitimately angry for once. <laughs> well, duh. I scrimped and saved my measly allowance for many moons to buy the game and console, so this sucks. She gets pissed over the stupidest things! That's why she's perfect as one of the one of the best anime characters in existence. Your allowance? If Neptune has uncontrolled access to money, she buys every game she sees. So Isti put her on an allowance. Did Eastwar? Then, if that's possible, did she? Did Eastwar? Did she pay for uh, that parka outfit that Neptune has on right now just because she uncontrollably wanted that? Neptune CPUs are so weird. Yep. Okay, it's settled. I'm gonna do the quarantine thing and delete them all. Any more baddies around, Neptune? Well, she's pissed over the stupidest thing. I'm scanning the data, and I'm seeing a lot in the vicinity. But, I mean a lot. This might be tough, even for you. Numbers aren't important to me. A CPU won't bend or break against some dinky dingus of a virus. Maybe. If R4 was the one behind all of it, would, and she was right outside the door to their house, would Neptune beat the hell out of her? I don't know, but that's not possible. Because she's dead. If she had this drive all the time, Eastwar probably wouldn't get so many stomach ulcers from the stress. Yep. Wait, my end gear is reacting. What is it this time? One super strong reaction came through the far end of the dungeon area. Maybe it's the root of the virus. 
nicely analyzed my tech-savvy tinkerer of a sister. I'm gonna vent all my rage onto them for breaking my game. You don't sound angry, but I'll take it. I'll freaking take it. I'll freaking frick frack take it. I don't know why, but I like jumbling up words like that. That diddly dat that. I don't know, I'm I'm Ned Flanders for some reason. There we go, I get the save! Yay! Alright. Unfortunately, I'm gonna end the episode here. But first, I'm gonna see if it was, was actually called a parka. No, it's a jersey dress. Um, new clothes that Neptune forces the swar to go out and buy. That's exactly what I said! Easy to move around it, but he so I failed to find matching shoes. A oh, poor Iswar. Oh, I did not mean to do that. But still, great. I'm already enjoying this game, and I bet all of you will enjoy watching it. Cause I feel like I should keep going on. If you like this video, check out the annotations at the end of the video. And as always, I will see you in the next. So, my new duds look awesome on me, right? Yep. But, uh, they didn't have any shoes my size, so they're my old ones. Yep, I already knew.